Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. This episode we're going to have a look at teleposers and move a few things around including ourselves. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to make is basically these teleposer blocks here. They, they require um, basically three ender pearls each and six gold. And I want to make four of those and these teleposition focuses here are, are basically ender pearls in a tier 4 altar. 2000 LP each and I want to have three of those and one of those I want to upgrade to this level here which is 10,000 LP in the altar and the last one here is for the um, the reinforced one which is also is the one I want to make because this will make this will actually move the this one here will move a 5 by 5 by 5 area above it um, this will do a 3 by 3 by 3 and this will do a basically a one but if it's, if it's a person it actually moves the person so that should be fine I also would like to make this teleposition reagent here so for that I need another one of these so I need to get some more bits and pieces so we need another three ender pearls for this uh, I've got the what I need in here for to make those four and the three focuses but I just need a little bit more so we need three more ender pearls like that and some gold we need um, leave two in here we need six per but there is another one as well which you might have a look at and that's the trans transpositional I think sigil which is this teleportation sigil this one transpositional sigil so that requires transpositional reagent which requires yet another one of those and an ender pearl I think I would actually like to do this so we need another three of those plus another six gold I think that's what we need so let's go downstairs and start doing this now there is another mechanism for teleportation in um, blood magic and we can do that one as well but I just don't have time in this episode to do that one and that's the gate of the fold I think we'll do that next time so here we are I've got my blood altar and what I would like to do is to put one end of pull in here first of all um, to move this out how many do I need teleposition focuses I need two three and I want to make six of those so we need seven so let's put those into there like that of course the mob is coming down nicely now so we can take this out to feel like this and it should fuse up the LP but while that's doing that I I've got this coat of arms here and that's got 10,000 LP stored in it and we stored up the LP in here by attacking mobs and grinding mobs and so we got LP in there this when we were about what we could also do with this it's not a good time at the moment because it's got it's got too much LP in here to start with so I need to get this up to 14,000 LP which way you see it goes fairly fast it's 10 uh, 10 LP per tick so this moves reasonably quick and the mobs are coming along here filling it up a little bit more with some more blood so we're going to be able to do this without any difficulty whatsoever now the next one along might be a bit more difficult so what I want to do is when this is finished to make sure that the blood orb is back in here so when we take these out I need to move this out of the way as soon as these are done we can take them out because the next level is it also in the altar here so any second now this should be done like that so I should have seven of these in here now one thing if you're not careful if you haven't got enough inventory space it, they will stack now stacked items some like this sometimes don't work so be, be careful make sure they're not stacked before we try to craft with them because I've lost I've lost these before and at the moment enderpearls are relatively tough to get so this is now filling up the altar for us and I've got too much blood in here to demonstrate the coat of arms yet we'll do that in a second so let's go down now and start to craft while that's doing that we can start to craft the, the six teleposers that we actually need so this is the one we want to do the reason that they're not stacking is because of this let's just make sure that we've actually got enough in here and just drag this around to like this I don't fully understand why that's not. Ah, oh, that worked that time. So I've got those, and then we want to 
Split these under pearls into two. And shift that out. So I actually want six, that's right, yes. And the extra one is for something else. Let's so go. Two, three, four, five, six. So we have six of those and two ender pearls spare. I'm not sure we've got two spare because I forgot to count. Or well, I need them for the other recipes. <laughs> I, think I, need, I think I need them for the other recipes. So let's put this now into here take this out of here and then we'll get this one upgraded it's got plenty of blood in this at the moment so that's going to be consumed i would like to put let's put this back in here again so we have fill up our lp network and get the sear signal out of here move that out of the way so we should, actually it doesn't matter so much with this one because it's not going to upgrade after this level so it's really done done so now we have to enhance one of these what I'd like to do is to also make sure that all of those are turned off because I would like to count now there is something that's using LP on a regular basis I'm not sure what it is I know that we've got these three up here so we make sure that all of these are turned on that's currently turned off turn that on I've got to be watching my witch as well <laughs> my tame witch that one, she's not very tame. She'll throw things at me. Oh, she's looking at me now. I'm trying to miss ha. <laughs> uh, so they're now turned on. Oh, she didn't miss, did she? I got slowness. Oh, oh yes, I've got poison resistance on my. Um, if I look here, I've got poison resistance level one. So that did, wasn't too painful this time. So let's go back upstairs and I'll see you at the top. Right, here we are. I did need to make the two extra um, teleposition focus. So I don't ask me why I forgot. When I was making these, I haven't done that before to be honest with you. So let's make first of all. Um I'm gonna craft up one of these to make this to being the reinforced teleposition focus. Like that. So that's the one we got now. So what we got these two focuses here, I'm gonna just put those down here like this. Now you'll see that it's got no information on those at the moment. Let's put down a teleposition block. I would like to put it say here. So I'm gonna drag Drill down two blocks, both sides, and I'm going to set up a little simple, very simple redstone down here. Uh, what I'm going to use is uh, some redstone torches and some repeaters. I quickly go and get those. So I grab the bits I wanted. So I'll put a redstone torch down like this, and then I'm going to put down on this side here. I'm going to put some dust. In fact, I'll turn my magnet on and pick up the sun that's floating down there. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a piece of sand like this. And then I'm going to put a button on this piece of sand. What's going to happen is, let's do that. I've got some buttons. I made some buttons as well. So I've put a button on here like that. And then I press the button. You'll see this torch goes off. And then when it comes, button resets, it goes back on again. So when it resets, we should teleport. That's the idea. So let's move those out of the way. Now, we've got these two teleportation focuses. I said they haven't got anything on them. So we need to put down teleposer first of all like this. And put it on top of that, like that. And then this one, I said, right, shift right click this onto here like this. And then we have a look at this. So you'll see that now the current owner is Duncan and the coordinates, it's given some coordinates. Let's just not, I did shift right click on that one, but let's just do right click on this one here. And what happens is a slight difference. It set the coordinates, which can bring those two up here, but doesn't set the owner. And that's actually significant, as I found out while I was setting this demonstration up. So now we've got the coordinates over here. So we have to go to the where we want to go to our destination, which is on the other side. But before I go over there, let's do these signals that I want to make. Um, so one of these signals we need is a teleposition block. We need two of these, don't we? We should have, yeah, that's three, that's right. Put two of these in here like this. One block of redstone, one diamond, gold, and glowstone. And then we should put this into here, and that should make the reagent for the teleposer. Teleposition reagent. Okay. And the next one is we're going to do the same thing. This time we need an emerald, um, ender pearl, diamond, and obsidian. And this will make the transposition reagent. 
So now we need to let's look at the quick uses of that because I can't remember. Uh, they both require demonic slates like this. Um, so I'll make some demonic slates. Oh, I'll get the demonic slates out of here. Need two of those, and we need. We'll put those down the bottom like this. And we need some arcane ashes. I've just about about got enough of that. Let's make these up quickly. Some space with a little bit of room. It, it does need a little, at least one block each side of it. Right click that in there and right click in there and we get our work in progress icon. And then we should get our sigil when we come out of this. There's a third sigil I'd like to make today. So now we have the teleposition sigil. And what this one does is if you shift right click this block here, I think it's shift right click it, it teleports you there and it sets this destination up in here. So the destination, so if I right click this anywhere in the world, or any dimension, I'll come back to this spot. That's it. So it's like a rescue tele, it's like a, a, a rescue sigil in a way. So let's make the transpositional sigil next one. I'll do that same thing again, of course. Arcane okay, Ashes, Reagent, Sigil. So now we should get this transpositional one. Now this isn't, I think it's possibly, is it, you can move blocks with it. I've got an imbued slate with me as well. I do need that for the next one I want to make. So teleposition, transposition. So we'll definitely have a look at that later on. It'd be nice. There is a config, you can actually move spawners and bedrock, but by default they're turned off. So now what I'd like to do, in, by, in the configuration file that is, so we've got this setup. I would like to have um, two pieces of string, one piece of leather, and one chest. Have I got any? I've got some wood around in here, I think. Take two of those. Let's quickly make up a chest. Like this. And then we'll make up an, another sigil. So the one we're going to do is a sigil of holding. So I've got that one there. Let's put that down. I need to come off course and use the hell of our forge first. So we need a chest, a piece of leather, and two pieces of string, which need to be in separate slots. And then that our direct gem in here. And that'll make us a reagent, holding reagent. And if we look for the uses of a holding reagent, you'll see that, oh, that was a recipe, sorry, uses of it. We need an imbued slate and then gives us a signal of holding. So let's um, do that one as well. So we put the arcane ashes down, and then we put the reagent into that. And now I need the demonic imbued slate, sorry. And then we get this one. Now this is really a space saver, but it doesn't work in all cases for all signals. So here we have it. Now, what I can do here is on the right hand side, Beside the hot bar, we've got another hot bar, and as you can scroll through this, um, but not yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put items into this. So to do that, we need to put in what have we got in here? Actually, the ones I've, I've put the ones I want to have put away. So what I'll, I'll do is I'll leave it for the time being. But we can put in the signal of magnetism in here. So you press H. And then you can take it into the slot you want it. So the others I'm going to use lava, water, and void sigil in here. Um, and then a sigil I'm not going to use very often. I guess this one. Teleposition sigil. So it's all in this one here. Press escape, and you can see now it's if I roll, sc I scroll around here, and it scrolls through each of the two sigils. So when I shift right click, this turns it off and on, as we know before. So right, that's that bit done. So I've got those three signals around. So let's dive, trundle off to the other side. This is my boat. And just double check I've got that program because it's a bit of a nuisance if you forget to do this. So that's the one I want to use. It doesn't work if you don't program it, own it. That was a mistake I was doing in my last test video. <laughs> in other words, I'm re-recording this for the third time. We're going to set this one up over here. Now what we're also going to do 
today is to move the cr ritual of the crusher and the ritual of the mag magnetism from one side of the island to the other side of the island. Those are those two blocks over there in one go. At the moment they're activated and we can find out how they're activated in a second. I've also brought something I didn't really want with me with the arcane ashes. Let's put those away. Yeah, I think there's some already some in here somewhere. Yes, look. I think this has probably got about two uses left of it. Okay, fun. So the first thing we're going to do is the same thing. I'm going to set it up, say, here. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to set all of this stuff up. So I want my pick out because there's probably stone underneath this, but we'll just dig down anyway. In that case, there wasn't. I'm going to do the same the same design as I did last time. It's not the only design. I can I can hear um, skeletons hopping around as well, but they're safe. They're safely underneath the ground, so we don't care about them. So I put down the torch down here first of all, and then we put down in here the redstone dust. Put the dirt on top of the redstone dust. Put the button on top of that. Check it's working. It's working good. And then put the teleposer on top of this. Now, this is we have to shift right click this one on top of that one here like this before we do anything else. And then, and then double check it so she pointed to the right position it's got the right turn and it's changed the coordinates great so now we'll right click this and put this one into here and as i do that i teleported because the signal is actually on so i got the order right this time so let's do the same thing in this one let's put this the other focus into here like this i may even teleport back straight away because for the same reason so you can see these are working let's just double check prove it Boom. And there we go the other way just like that so now we have a way of going through there but it does use a reasonable amount of lp so let's remove these here and let's have a look at the sickle um let's put that over here oh, i've still got a ten thousand um one million lp because we've got this blood altar's also got it in but it is using up lp um how much space have we got in this Yes, I've got 10,000. I can actually show you, demonstrate this now. Coat of arms. Shift right click the coat of arms into here. And it'll actually, if you check, double check, this has got 10,000 LP stored. This was the early game thing, and I completely didn't actually know about it, to be honest with you. Shift right click this onto the altar. Ah, can't shift right click it when it's got something in. Is that right? Ah, interesting. I didn't know that. Let's take it out. Um, thing that's what I want to do. Shift right click this one to here now, you'll see it fills up. And now we've got 40,000 in here, like that. Um, I'm going to leave this out of there for the time being. No, no, I'm going to leave it in. I want to demonstrate something else as well. Put that back in there. Let's take this out of the way. That's going to start draining LP when we start to do this some more bits and pieces actually might, might be for next time so the idea is now to move this block over here to this side so i'll come back i'll have a quick sleep and come back in a second well we've got happy villages anyway so next thing i would like to move this lot first of all i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'll remove this dirt block don't need that in there i'm also going to remove this now this is this we need we want to create it with demonic will in here now just to prove if i get out here my uh, ritual tinkerer this one and i also need the node root in here but first we'll need to pick up bits and pieces i'll leave that out i don't need that one i don't need the blood lamp so let's put those down like that actually i do need the holding one i want to turn on the magnet so as it happens so now if we right get this into the right mode I'm not sure what mode it is in at the moment let's right click it this okay this ritual no, no, no longer uses demonic well it didn't do it in the first place so so shift right click that define area information so when you right click this it pulls up from the ground so it's telling us what they're doing 
and it, and it tells you what they're doing when it's activated so we know that these two rituals are still active so now let's pick up this block up here and turn on my signal at the same time I should have done that to start with shouldn't I just in case I'm dropping bits and I want this one as well oh if you can see if I move this like that it's pointing over there to the master ritual so so I'm going to break this one that actually picked up two items it picked up the rich uh, the precise item filter as well as the routing node so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put that uh, up them offhand as it happens just in case I happen to get some XP or repair so we're going to come over here so what we're going to do over here is to set up this now first thing I want to make sure I'm going to put it actually on this block here so this was the marker where I've had before so let's first of all check the boundaries so F3 and G turns on the chunk boundaries sure enough plenty of space I can put it wherever I like and put it over here for example and then I want to put into that the output routing node so what I have to do is jump up on top of it and then when I'm ju I jump up and then shift right click it on top into place like that so it's then in place and it will actually it's not configured yet we need to configure this so all we have to do is to put back the precise item filter because that's stored in it the previous settings which is great so it don't have to go mess around so all we next have to do is just simply link this so I shift right click that one there so it's setting the note location let's turn off the chunk boundaries and go back over here and put this link this to this over here over here we have this one of course the other side is no longer linked so if I shift right click this it says now linked to the master node you can't there is an option you can see now it's linked there and that's linked there so it should have got that uh, demon will uh, destructive will crystal I can't do that of course like that so there was there are 11 in there so that's now got that in there so the next thing we do when I set up um, this slot so we're going to put one of these down here first of all and I'm going to put it underneath this diamond block here unfortunately it's going to pick up some dirt with it but it doesn't matter very much um, as far as I remember so let's go over this side over here and do the same thing this is where I want it to be I want it to come out here like this okay so I'm going to just put it down on this block here which is the end of that this is as far as I could reach um, it's about 63 blocks away and what's going to come on here is the diamond the block of diamonds are going to sit on top of that and then the ritual is going to sit on top of that so first of all we have to program this in here so we shift right click that in there double check it so we've got the right coordinates we've got the right owner no problem should work so all we know how to do is we need some levers with I've got some levers here and the reason we need levers we need to turn stuff off and on mostly off in this case because I don't want it to run all the time uh, I think I got 55 time diamonds in the last in the last run through so I've got plenty of diamonds in here like that and I also got quite a lot of minerals gold and iron ore and coal I've got a reasonable amount in here so I'll put those in there like that so now we simply come along here put into this here that focus you see don't click it with your hand if you click it with your hand in it it's going to mess things up let's see we can either put a button on it or a lever let's just put a lever on it click it goodbye the whole move the whole of that lot moved great so what we're going to do now is we're going to just break this up again because we've finished with that for this particular one hello like and we need the filter for next time it didn't move the chest but that's fine we'll just have we got space for the chest yes we've got plenty of space take the chest with us as well so that will now be over here and it will actually be active and it should carry on um quarrying for us as you can see it's it's finished it's quarrying for us it dropped i think that was a torch i've got to be careful with these because i've got to light them up again but let's just jump up here 
I can jump up three blocks. So I should be able to jump onto the. Oops. Yes, I can. Good. And I can jump up. Oh, I need to put down. First of all, I need to put a lever on this so we can turn it off. We need to turn it off because I want to put this block, the destination block, uh, the teleposer, which will dig up this one as well. Like that. I want to put this in its place. I'll try again. Huh. Right. This time I got it in the right place. So when I break this block, because it's turned off, it's not going to try mining that up again. So we can easily put down the teleposer in here like this. And then we can shift right click this teleposer focus into that again that's the destination like that move it out of your hotbar very important to do that otherwise it'll carry on now this is still turned off let me just press f4 yeah i thought there might be one or two places which are not lit up i don't want that to happen because i don't want mobs spawning here obviously we've got villages around and it tends to be zombies that spawn and do the same over here like that Right, now we can go over here and do the same thing again. So this time, when we move it, it's going to start breaking the blocks. We have to be fairly quick getting back again. So I'm going to put this teleposer on underneath it, but before we do that, we've got to turn this off. Ah, probably should have remembered to do that first of all, to be honest with you. Let's Let's just do that now. I think here might be a good place. Yeah, I think I can reach this now. Oh, it's got a block on it already, so I can turn it off. So that should now be off. Hard to see. <laughs> I can't see it. I think that's off. Um, yeah, well, it's an easy way to find out. Put the, as soon as I put the teleposer, if it's not off, it'll break it like that so it's not broken it that's great let's put this into it now okay and let's activate this put a lever down here and activate it and the whole lot disappears except for of course this bit which is not part of it never never shifts the teleposer itself unless it happens to be on top of a teleposer so right click this and get and break that up so now we've got everything back again we should have a couple more levers have two. I'm gonna drop a lever about. Or did the lever get teleported over here? And the lever might have got teleported over here. And I notice whenever I've got a, I come near this area, I'm picking up another, another torch. I see it's also a bit too dark down here. Let me just light this up. Right, good. So let's climb up here again. Now it's more difficult to climb up here as it happens because um, the blocks are in the way. You see, I picked up the second, the second lever. There's one on the top. I'll have also picked up a second teleposer because that should be on the top of it as well because it was inside the thing and it's broken it, as you can see. Now it's a bit more difficult to get up here. But um, I've got some wool on me, let's use the wool, it doesn't cost anything to... Let's put some wool down here and then jump up. I should be able to jump up on top of this one. Try again. Yep, did it. So now we can put a lever on top of this and turn it off. And you'll see it's got still a bit dark and I think I've got one more torch left. So we can still hopefully light that all up good. So that's now turned on, so it's now turned off. So it won't break any more blocks. But the first thing we need to do also is to put down our chest. Let's do that. I should be able to reach from here. I'm hoping I can. I would like to put it on here. It's going to face the wrong way, but it doesn't matter very much. So let's use the, the ritual tinker to set the right mode on this. Of course, if we right click this now, we should still be in information mode which it is so it shows you it's active well we know it's active anyway because we we saw the um we saw what it was doing so 
out to check whether it's using demon, uh, demon wheel, but I forgot to bring the wheel with me. So that's now set. So it's now set the range of this thing. So now anything it breaks, it should end up in this chest here like that. So basically that's it in terms of this type of teleportation. The gate of the fold is going to take a, it's actually not difficult to do. I'll leave that here because you see I can still reach the chest here so it doesn't matter that it's in the wrong place. And this is turned off and that's turned off. I don't want them on at the moment because I've got enough resources. Let's turn this off again. I think everything's lit up well enough. So we're not going to get any mob spawns. Don't need to worry about it on the other side, I don't think. But let's have a look at the next one of these, which was the um, this sigil here, wherever it's gone to. Transposition. We, we right click a block with this. Let's find a good block to right click. Yeah, not really best chore, which is the best one. Let's just do this. Uh, something, something, something. Let's just pick this block of um, grass up here. So we just right click this. Let's just right click it. And it's picked it up. In fact, I should have got Feel the Force, now my young apprentice. So shift right clicking it picks it up and so, oh it's just flames so we can then right click it down here we so it picks it up it'd be great to use that on spawners but you have to change the configuration file for that now let's have a look in here we've got plenty of we've got plenty of blood in the altar at the moment unfortunately i wanted to just demonstrate the knife the sacrificial dagger because this will now fill up this completely with 42,000 LP for one hit on this. At the moment I've got something like 16 ruins. What I might do is I change these ruins to be the augmented version of it for the ruins of capacity. Because I think that with 16 it starts to make sense to use those instead of these. I think the the break the break point was eight, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Well, I'm going to right click this so we end up on this uh, as an ending point. Uh, so I wish you all the best. Next time I'll do the gate of fold, and I'm going to set up some more teleportation mechanisms to go in the Nether from the from the portal to the um, to the Nether fortress. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.